Hi everyone, I'm Pablo with Mattress Makers and this episode of Mattressology, we're gonna talk about the differences between Dunlop and Tadele Latex. One of the most common questions we get about latex mattresses is what is the difference between Dunlop versus Tadele Latex? And is one better than the other? Well, in this video, we're gonna cut through a lot of the confusion about the two and hopefully make it a lot easier for you to decide which one is better for you, Dunlop or Tadele. First off, let me explain what is Dunlop and Tadele. There's essentially no difference in the actual latex between the two. They are both the process or the method in which the latex core is made. I'm not gonna go too geeky on the manufacturing process between the two. We may say that for another video, but basically Dunlop, it's a much simpler process in the manufacturing where the liquid latex is gonna be mixed up and poured into a mold. Then it's baked and hardened, and then it's washed. Tadele, on the other hand, is similar to, late, to Dunlop, but it has two more steps in the manufacturing process. The liquid latex is also poured into a mold and mixed up, but then it's placed in a vacuum where the air is vacuumed out of it to get the desired firmness and the density. Then the mold is gonna be flash frozen, which allows the latex to have a more consistent feel, and then it's gonna be baked and then washed. So there are two more steps in the Talladei process, which Dunlop does not do, which gives Tele a bit of a different feel and a little bit different response than Dunlop. So let's talk about the feel or the comfort between the two. First, the firmness difference. Dunlop is definitely gonna be more dense than Tele, which gives it a bit more of a firm feel. Tele, because there is more air in it and it's less dense, it's gonna have a softer feel and also a little bit more pillowy type of feel. Plus it also is a little bit more bouncy than, than Dunlop. So I'm gonna demonstrate this test between two golf balls just so you, so you can see the, the difference between the responsiveness. So I got, my, on my left is Talley, on my right is Dunlop. So I don't know if you guys caught that, I'll do it one more time. So with Talley, it bounces back a little bit more. It's not as dramatic of a difference between latex and memory foam, but there is definitely a difference in the responsiveness between Talley and Dunlop. So if you like a little bit more of a bouncy or a more lively feel, then I definitely would recommend going with Talley. So Talley, it has a more consistent feel than Dunlop because latex is flash frozen and the latex particles are distributed much more evenly in, in the core. When Dunlop is being baked, the latex particles tends to settle more towards the bottom because it takes a little bit longer for it to bake. So at the bottom part of the, the core, it's gonna be a bit more firmer than the top part of the Dunlop core. I'm not a big fan of using three inch Dunlop layers because of the consistency issues. Two three inch layers cut from the same six inch core can have totally different feels. A lot of online companies are gonna use three inch layers because it's a lot easier to ship, but there are gonna be issues with consistency of the feel unless the three inch layers was poured into a three inch mold, but that's very rare. If you're going to use Dunlop, we recommend doing it, it being in a six inch core for the support and also for the consistency. Another concern people have between Dunlop and Talley is one gonna last longer than the other, is one more durable. So Dunlop has been around since the 30s. Talley has been used since the 40s and the 50s, and they're both very good processes but I have not seen any difference in longevity between the two types. I've seen 40-year-old Dunlop latex in excellent condition. I've also seen 20, 30-year-old Talley latex in great condition. So if there's any difference in durability between the two, it's marginal. It's, there's not much of a difference. So now for the cool factor or the breathability of the material. Because Dunlop is more dense than Talley, it's not gonna breathe as well. The additional steps that Talley undertakes during the production process gives Talley a unique open and round cellular structure which allows the ventilation to occur much better. So it breathes a lot easier. So Talley is gonna be a bit more breathable and temperature regulating. So the winner on that side, definitely Talley. So if you continue to do more research on latex, you'll notice there's a debate from different companies. Some people say Dunlop is better. Others are gonna say Talley is better. What we found, there is no clear cut winner between which is better. They're both really good. They're both really durable. They're both really supportive. But they have different attributes and they perform better in certain types of applications in the mattress. 
What we found that works best is having Dunlop and Tally working as a team and using Dunlop as the support layer or the bottom layer because of the firmness and the density. And then using Tally as the top comfort layer for the pressure relief and the comfort because of the, the consistency and just the overall feel. So when you're on the hunt for a latex mattress, don't get too bogged down between which was better. Know that they're both excellent choices and ultimately trust what your body's telling you. Go with one, what feels best with your body. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit something about latex mattresses. If you wanna know a little bit more about latex, check out our Latex 101 video. It goes in a little bit more detail about the different types of latex and the different qualities of latex as well. Also, if you'd like more help on your mattress shopping journey, go to our website, mattressmakers.com, download our mattress shopping guide. This guide will make it so much easier for you to find in a new mattress. So, you guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm Pablo from Mattress Makers. Sleep well.